It's Mike Brennan. We're doing a special interview today with a, a longtime friend of mine, Jen Nelson, uh, who uh, is really heavily involved in the CBD space. And Ma she has a company called Mod Roots. Did I pronounce that correctly? Yep, Mod Roots. Yep. Okay. And uh, we were talking just a couple of weeks ago, and she was telling me about there's a big, big push right now to take the company national. Pretty exciting stuff. Why don't you fill us in, Jen? Yeah, I can. Um, this is very exciting for me because I got into the hemp industry in 2018, working for another company, um, established Mod Roots in 2021. Uh, so it's been almost three years. We built the foundation of the company, got the products, the formulations, the price points based off the market value set up really nice to be able to grow and expand outside of our friends, our family, local shops, um, to that magnitude. So tell us about how uh, you're going to be going national. I know you, I, when I originally saw you posting on Facebook, you were looking for sales help. So we can talk about that too. But uh, what's the game plan? What are you going to be marketing nationally? Um, I'm going to be selling the CBD line, pretty much the extract, topicals, beard oil, skincare line. I'm trying to demonstrate that the hemp industry is a viable industry in Michigan, and it also can be a viable export industry. So I want to demonstrate the process from growing the hemp in Michigan, getting it processed, taking it to consumer goods, giving it to a sales force outside of Michigan, and giving it to them so that they can make profits off of it, the salesperson as well as the retail stores that are buying this product from our salespeople. And uh, certainly you're also a member of IHEMP Michigan. That's where I first met you. And IHEMP obviously is trying to do the same thing that you're trying to do is build that infrastructure in the state so that hemp can be used in what, 100,000 different products. It's just amazing all the uses. And one of the beauties of hemp is since the, there's hardly, hardly any THC in it, uh, you can take it national versus a cannabis product, which you can't cross state lines with. So that makes it was part of the Farm Act, I think, in 2018 or something, right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's really great. So the hemp farm bill, the farming bill of 2018 allowed us to research and grow hemp, but it also allowed each state to make up their own regulations regarding CBD. So there are a few states. Um, Idaho is one. I think there's four states that have opted out to have CBD products in some form, maybe zero THC or a certain amount of CBD per weight of an edible form. So I think there's 46 states that we'll be able to reach out to. And it is really excited that, exciting that I can take our consumer good, like I said, made in Michigan and export it all throughout the United States. And to be honest, um, I'm not, once I get there, I have the courage and the knowledge I could take it global. I feel like, you know, export to other, other countries. Okay. So but let's all... just start with the United States, right? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Good start. Yeah. Your baby steps in the beginning. So uh, will all these products be developed at your company? And then you're going to look, as you said, as I said, you're looking for sales help around the country to, to move the product. Is that right? Yeah, yep. I'm currently accepting resumes and doing interviews for a sales force. We have four sales representatives in Michigan. Uh, we have one in Georgia, two in Florida. We have a handful of affiliates as well. We also do affiliate level sales so that just any person can make a commission off of a sale. So Mike, even you, I could give you your own 420 post promo code. And every time somebody said that, um, put it in with an order, you'd get a 10% commission. So we have positions from just the regular mom, dad, or grandmother or hustler out there that thinks they can move some inventory all the way up to uh, an aggressive salesperson. And that's what I'm currently hiring for is somebody with more sales experience that understands an organizational flow for um, you know, the supply chain familiarity with the hemp industry so that we don't blur any legal lines or anything like that. 
Yeah, it's a tricky part. And there's still, as we know, a lot of confusion between hemp and cannabis and same plant. However, the difference is the THC level with hemp. It's 0.03 or some minuscule amount. I think uh, Rand Paul said you'd have to smoke a joint made out of hemp the size of a telephone pole to get high. And that's not what CBD is about. It's it's more of a medicinal sort of thing where it relaxes you. For I, for instance, take a CBD late in the evening to help me sleep at night, and it relaxes me and lets me get through the night. And that's really what you're going for too, right? Yeah, absolutely. It definitely is a health and wellness aspect. I come from the medical marijuana era of Michigan, and I really am passionate about the health and wellness healing. A lot of our demographic is... 65 and up, people with chronic illness, chronic mental health problems, um, people with joint replacement, athletes is a big demographic. So you can definitely see a trend in um, the medicinal and healing. And again, that's my company. I feel like that's what's setting us apart right now is that we're still, when we take someone our product and during our sales training right now for my sales team, when we take somebody, our product, we're not the type of drop and run company. I still want to have that hands-on approach, teaching people how to dose CBD. You know, there's still a lot of gray area with dosing. So we're really doing a hands-on approach from myself to my sales force, to bud tenders, to affiliates. And we're taking a big step up together on education along with the sales aspect. All right. Now you got everybody all excited and they want to work with you. How do they reach out to you? Um, they can email me, Jen at modroots.com. So that's J E N at M O D R U T Z dot com. 